my name's Anna and I'm one of the trainers at Mind Apples. And here at Mind Apples, we've been talking a lot to people recently about the new ways of working and how do we collaborate with other people, you know, particularly when we're working remotely now. And a lot of that comes down to new ways of communication and also how do we deal with disagreements and conflict. So I'm going to spend a few minutes on this video looking at some of those components. And I think it's probably fair to say that human beings are quite annoying and particularly when you've been spending sort of 24 seven in lockdown with them. But, you know, we put up with other people's quirks and habits because at the end of the day, we can actually achieve so much more working collaboratively with other people than than on our own. We can you know, develop loads more insights, solutions, ideas, innovations, etc. But that requires a lot of communication, a lot of two-way communication to get one idea and thought from someone's brain to someone else's. And as humans, we get mixed messages, we get misunderstandings because our brains become very good at jumping to conclusions, we make assumptions, we fill in information gaps. So this is sometimes where the breakdown in communication can occur. And when you add on to that, that also when we're communicating, we're also trying to convey an element of our status. We're trying to sort of say something about the relationship dynamic with that person or express our own feelings. There's lots of chances where communication can get muddled up and mixed up. So a couple of top tips to, to consider when you're um, communicating with people. First one is to try and use I messages rather than you messages. It stops people being defensive. Separate, secondly, separate the facts from opinions or judgments. Three, ask lots of open questions. This can really help the dialogue, gets people to open up and talk a lot more, much more sort of solutions focused. And finally, remember that we have two ears and one mouth and to use it in that ratio. Communication is a two way process and I think we all sometimes forget that at times. Also be mindful of your body language uh, that conveys a message, you know, and especially over um, online or telephone uh, conversations that we have with people. So being much more aware of your tone of voice, your facial expressions, the way that you're saying things, the choice of words that you're using, because these can all add and distract to the message. And so much more so when the message is only the person that we're seeing on the screen, as opposed to the overall body language and energies that we get in a normal um, meeting room face to face. So misunderstandings, disagreements, they, you know, potentially could lead to conflict. And this is where um, we tend to sort of you know, find communication breaks down. There's a, been a misunderstanding from one or both sides of the parties. And with a bit of sort of you know, careful handling and a couple of top tips, you know, they can usually and hopefully be resolved very well. So first of all, establish the reasons for the disagreement and try and understand if there's any unshared information or unconscious assumptions that people are making. Some research suggests that it can be really helpful to get the person to explain how their idea would work in practice. It can open up again the conversation, the dialogue, and get over the unshared and unknown information that we might be um, making a, an incorrect judgment on. And also think about your own attitude towards conflict as well. Are you someone who's very cooperative and puts collaboration, cooperate, co cooperation above your own, your own needs? Or are you very assertive and competitive and sometimes overlook the needs of other people within the group? So think about where you are on the spectrum and if you're very competitive and assertive, do you need to remind yourself that there's other people to, to consider? Or if you're always putting other people's first, needs first, how can you start articulating some of your own things that you might need from the discussion or the agreement? So I hope that's helped. Um, please do keep in touch with us. Let us know how you're getting on, what's working for you, any top tips to share, and also look out for lots more videos and information sheets that we've got. Take care. Mm -hmm.